An odalisk Turkish, odalik, was a chambermaid or a female attendant in a Turkish seraglio, particularly the court ladies in the household of the Ottoman Sultan. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The word, odalisk, is French in form and originates from the Turkish odalik, meaning, chambermaid, from oda, chamber, or room. It can also be transliterated odalic, odalisk, and odalic. Joan del Plato has described the terms shift in meaning from Turkish to English and French. The English and French term odalisk rarely odalik derives from the Turkish oda, meaning chamber. Thus an odalisk originally meant a chamber girl or attendant. In Western usage, the term has come to refer specifically to the harem concubine. By the 18th century the term odalisk referred to the eroticized artistic genre in which a nominally Eastern woman lies on her side on display for the spectator. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origin as the Turkish odalik An odalik was not a concubine of the harem, but a maid, although it was possible that she could become one. An odalik was ranked at the bottom of the social stratification of a harem, serving not the man of the household, but rather, his concubines and wives as personal chambermaids. Odalik were usually slaves given as gifts to the sultan by wealthy Turkish men. Generally, an odalik was never seen by the sultan but instead remained under the direct supervision of his mother, the valide sultan. If an odalik was of extraordinary beauty or had exceptional talents in dancing or singing, she would be trained as a possible concubine. If selected, an odalik trained as a court lady would serve the sultan sexually and only after such sexual contact would she change in status, becoming thenceforth one of the consorts of the sultan. In contrast to European depictions of nude harem women, they more often wore androgynous robes resembling those worn by the male pages of the palace. The conditions of the Ottoman harem resembled a monastery for young girls more than the bordello of European imagination. Topic: <laughs> Later Western usage of the term. W. S. Gilbert refers to the grace of an odalisk on a divan in Colonel Calverley's song, "If you want a receipt for that popular mystery." From the Gilbert and Sullivan opera Patience. In popular use, the word odalisk also may refer to a mistress, concubine, or paramour of a wealthy man. During the 19th century, odalisks became common fantasy figures in the artistic movement known as Orientalism, being featured in many erotic paintings from that era. By the later 19th century, Turkish writers such as Melik Hanım used the word odalisk to refer to slave concubines when writing in English. If any lady possesses a pretty-looking slave, the fact soon gets known. The gentlemen who wish to buy an odalisk or a wife, make their offers. Many Turks, indeed, prefer to take a slave as a wife, as, in such case, there is no need to dread fathers, mothers, or brothers-in-law, and other undesirable relations. In 2011, the Law Society of British Columbia brought a discipline hearing against an unnamed lawyer for referring to another lawyer's client as living with an odalisk. The Law Society found the use of the word, though an extremely poor choice, did not rise to the level of professional misconduct. See also Arab slave trade Culture of the Ottoman Empire Hammam Islamic views on slavery Kochik Ottoman Sultan's concubines Ottoman Turkish language